the Giants, uh, an interesting story. Well, they are, Hutchie. This, this was a coach killer in every sense, this performance. When you come up against the side that's ranked 12th, and Lordo, you look at some vision in a minute, but Fremantle with their young side, with the injuries that they've got, for the Giants to serve up what we're about to see is a shocking look for Leon, and he was already under pressure, and performances like that don't do well, him any help whatsoever. Well, you want to take us back to the Amazon documentary before we get into it about Leon Cameron and his discussion around how hard he wants them to play. We played a bruise-free game, and throughout, I said to the coaches, we're not f***ing working hard enough. This is set in to the walls since the grand final. You know what I'm f***ing talking about, Chook? Playing life and death footy. And I'm not seeing it from you, mate. And you're our f***ing leader. And I'm not seeing it from you. And I'm not f***ing seeing it from you. And I didn't f***ing see it from you today either. Amazingly, that is 12 months ago. So round two, 12 months ago, that vision. And Chook is Josh Kelly. So a lot of star midfielders. So this is the weekend. This is Andrew Brayshaw up against this, this star-studded midfield of the GWS Giants. So there's the arrows are all the seven Giants. Andrew Brayshaw is the red circle in the middle of those. You tell me, uh, everyone here and watching at home, if this is work rate from the Giants. Are they hungry and do they want to run? No, they're all still sitting back. Brayshaw kicks a goal. Frederick for the Fremantle Dockers. He's a young kid coming through who's willing to run. So he's, he runs past players. So then, obviously, Mundy, who's 35, just had the ball on a string. There's the players that Frederick Kane was behind. So this was a real concern for Leon, that his players just aren't working for him. And they're the same names, Cornelio Ward, Hopper, Kelly, DeBoer, Caro. The club has supported the coach, Leon. Um, what's the latest update? There. Well, the, several directors have come out and defended him. The head of football has come out and defended him. The CEO has come out and defended him. We all think deep down that if this doesn't improve, this will be Leon's last year of senior coach of GWS. I know the contract goes a bit longer, but the payout is small because they're a recipient club. And I hate to be brutal, but if it doesn't work this year, and even though they're clearly starting a bit of a rebuild now, mm. I think that this will be the end what for Leon. What does improve mean? Is that for Leon? Oh, I... I think if they finish in the bottom six or eight, I don't think he'll be there next year. Toothpaste is out. You of know the gym. my view about the, um, the AFL and the way they feel, and they're a big sponsor. Of what would you do, Hutchie? Well, you can't put the toothpaste back in the tube. The era is, is it a is complete over. Real rebuild, or is there enough there to salvage it and do a mini rebuild, like a Sydney? Yeah, or they're, they've Adelaide. got to go. They've got to go the nineteen to twenty twos, the Hoppers and the Tarantos and that crew, uh, with a new coach and a new new. Um, build into the future. Unfortunately, um, and far be it for me, Phil Davis looks a shadow of his former self. He's been a wonderful player. Uh, his numbers have fallen away and he's battling. Uh, Callum Ward's probably in the same bucket. They've got time to turn it around, but that's the, the slide of Davis since the grand final. They've got players getting a game, and I'd ask you guys this. Sam Reid, Lockie Keefe, um, Respectfully, a journeyman footballers who've been around a little bit of a little bit of a while. They're not in your next premiership. So should Leon Davis then Craig and all of you? Leon Cameron. Leon Cameron, yeah. I should say. Should Leon Cameron get a reprieve because these problems, these salary cap problems, are because players don't want to stay there? Um, should he be getting a reprieve because we feel as though the captaincy decision was political and out all, of all three, Leon's all hands? All three affected by the captaincy have not been. The same player. Now, Davis and Water carried significant... But we don't use. actually think well, that was a coach's call and maybe that was overruled by others. So I just wonder whether yeah. Dave Matthews led that and should Leon be blamed well, for that? Well, you get a reprieve if you do what Adelaide are doing and showing up and turning up and losing. Like Hawthorne yesterday, they gave effort. You don't get a reprieve if you're seeing clips like Matthew Lloyd showed against the 12th-ranked team from last year who have half their team missing with and, injury. And Kelly, if that contract gets executed, is eight more years. Yeah. That's oh, eight yeah, more years yeah. there. Josh Kelly, yeah. Yeah, that's a, the sign of a coach if you've got your players. I just think players improve Players improve at certain clubs. Like, say, for example, Port Adelaide. If you can bring players in, they suddenly get better. You say, what a wonderful yep. system. Richmond, you bring players in, they improve. Wonderful system. Unfortunately, the Giants, Josh Kelly, he should be playing like Marcus Bontempelli, but he's nowhere what would near you, that. What would you do if you are Josh? Is it time to... He might not be in the next rung now. It might be a rung down where the Giants reinvent mm. from. Well, I look at Zach Merritt at Essen and getting yeah. off topic, and I look at Josh Kelly. They they won't, I don't think, hang around for the extension unless their team. Is You've through. watched the Amazon documentary. Yeah. Did Leon do enough to keep his job in the eyes of what you saw there? Were you impressed by oh, what you oh, saw? Well, that, when the grand final time, they were brutal, absolutely brutal, and you know Leon should get credit for that. But they're not playing that way anymore. Uh, I just wonder how you haven't answered the question. What's that? 
I, I'm not going off a documentary whether Leon should get an in, uh, extension. Were you I'd impressed off... by what you saw of his coaching? Uh, he was fine. Yep, he was fine. It was very much rah rah rah. Uh, but as I said, they show Old snippets. Old He's factors, an effort, yeah. effort based yeah, coach, though, yeah. isn't he? Yeah. 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 And I just wonder how well supported he is. I think Port Adelaide have got the best assistant coaches in the game. And if we compare what Leon has had, and he suffered some losses through COVID, as a lot of clubs have, but Port Adelaide kept that group together. Michael Voss, senior coach. Nathan Bassett's coached a premiership in the Sandville. Jared Schofield's coached multiple, multiple premierships in the Waffle. And Brett Montgomery was a senior assistant at the Bulldogs when they won it. Compare that to, and we'll bring David Teagan as well, what they're working with at Carlton and the Giants. That is not to the level that Port Adelaide are at. And that's why they're so stable on and off the field. And that's why they continue to retain their players and the players improve. Yeah under those coaches. But Bassett and Montgomery, they've been moved on from clubs, haven't they? No, well, Bass was a premiership coach at Nord. He yeah. was at Essendon for a bit, went back, coached his own team. Brett Montgomery has, has, was moved you on. Do you disagree with that? The oh. Michael Voss went yeah. for senior jobs but didn't get them. That's why he's still there. Yeah, but the calibre. He's coached his own yep. team and yep. you would have to assume that he's no, pretty right. close to being a senior I think coach. What, what maybe you're trying to say is that a younger coach needs a bit more experience yeah. and they, neither club have really been able to quite... Maybe it's a soft cap thing, been able to achieve that. Speaking of the Blues, they've got to...